What's up everyone, welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today is going to be my Amazon Associates tutorial where I'm going to go over some different ways to earn more commissions when you are an Amazon Associate. So in this video, what I'm going to be really going through are some different tips to grow your website and grow your traffic and really grow the amount of people that are seeing your affiliate links on a daily basis so that you can drive more clicks to Amazon and you can drive more sales ultimately through your Amazon Associates account. Now, if you are looking for a complete tutorial for how to build an Amazon affiliate marketing website, you can visit my course on YouTube, Amazon Affiliate Marketing Course 2021. I will put the link in the video description, but in this video, I go over exactly how to create an Amazon affiliate marketing website. So I'm gonna reference this video a few different times throughout this one because there are a lot of good insights within this course. But what I want to do is start getting into some of these different ideas that you can incorporate for your own website, your own business to start driving more Amazon affiliate sales. Now, if we come over here, we're just looking at nine different things that you can do to really drive more Amazon affiliate sales. So I'm going to go through each one of these individually, and we're going to start with product linking and ads. So one of the most important things is making sure your website or wherever you are posting your Amazon affiliate marketing links, it might be on YouTube, it might be on Twitter, it might be through Pinterest. You wanna make sure you're using the proper product linking and you're also incorporating some of the built-in banners and native shopping ads that Amazon Associates has available to you. So starting with product linking, when you go to Amazon, so after you sign up to be an associate, you go to Amazon and you go to the back end of your Amazon Associates account. Through the product linking tab here, you can generate product links for any product. You can use some of the built-in banners that Amazon Associates already provides for you. So if you go to the banner links and you click on really any of these categories here, we'll just click on home and garden. What you're gonna see is they have all sorts of banner links here in different sizes. So they have responsive sizes and then they have all sorts of different sizes here. And as we scroll down, you can see some of the different banners they have. So if any of the banners that they've already created work for the niche that you're in, you can use these banners directly on your website and they'll automatically incorporate your affiliate link within the banners. Now the other thing you can do is create native shopping ads. So if we click over here on native shopping ads, I use these on my website. So I'll be referencing a couple of different websites here throughout the video. One is beachfronttocore.com. So on this website, I've been using native shopping ads for several years. And if you come to an article, like a page on my website, you can see right here, this is a Google AdSense ad. Over on the right hand side, this will drive people to Amazon, this banner right here. So just beach decor over a thousand markdowns every day. I'll update this banner every now and then on my own and just kind of use it on the sidebar over here. But as you scroll down an article, you can see right here is a native shopping ad. So a native shopping ad is gonna pull in some different relevant products that are for sale on Amazon, depending on what your website is about. So if we come over to the native shopping ads here in Amazon Associates, sorry, clicked on the wrong page. Um, if we come over here to native shopping ads, you can see that we can create recommendation ads, search ads, and custom ads. So usually what I'll use are recommendation ads. So you can see what some of these different advertisements look like. So search ads will actually incorporate a search bar here. We have custom ads over here. So recommendation and custom ads kind of look similar, but let's just say we want to create some recommendation ads. You basically have three different formats that you can use. So you want to name your advertisement, but over here for ad format, you have grid, which you could see over here on the right hand side. We have list, which is basically just going to be a list of products for sale. And then we have strip, which is going to be similar to grid, but just a little bit different in the format. Then what you want to do is after you choose your ad format is emphasize specific categories. So if it's something for home and garden, you just want to find basically whatever is going to be the best for home and garden. So I could do patio, lawn and garden, health and household. And I think they have home improvement down here if we keep coming down. So choosing some of these relevant categories, and then you can use a search keyword as your fallback. So since I use this advertisement basically site-wide, my fallback keyword, what I would probably do is something like beach decor or beach furniture or something along those lines. You can see I have beach lamp in here. And then all you need to do is click on save and view ad code. And they're gonna generate an HTML code that you, all you have to do is paste on your website and you can use WordPress plugins to make sure you have native shopping ads all over your website. So my favorite WordPress plugin to do this is called Ad Inserter. So if you just go to the to add new plugins through the back end of your WordPress website, search for Ad Inserter and it's a completely free plugin and you can insert Google Ads advertisements, you can insert Amazon Associates advertisements or really any of the other affiliates or advertisers that you work for. 
So coming back over here, just product linking and ads is one of the most important thing. When it comes to product linking, you just wanna make sure that after you sign up to be an Amazon associate, that you know you have this site stripe at the very top of the page anytime you visit Amazon and you're signed into your associate's account. So you're gonna have this site stripe at the very top and what you can do is link to any page on Amazon. So if we come to something like a best sellers page or new releases, you can link to these pages that have a ton of different products on them by simply going to the top and clicking on the text link here. So it's gonna enter your store ID, your tracking ID. So if you, if you have different tracking IDs for different websites, you can adjust this here. And then you have a short link here or you can get the full link. But when you use a link like this on your website, you can ensure that when people do click on these links and they go to Amazon and purchase something that you are gonna get a commission. So you wanna make sure you're using this site stripe at the top. And then let's just say I open up this product right here and we go to the page. There's a few different ways you can link to an individual product page. Now, in the last one, you can share this page directly to Facebook and Twitter. You can do the same when you're on a product page. You can share them directly to Facebook or Twitter. The other thing you can do is build these new native shopping ads just for individual products. So if you click on it, you can see it's going to pull in the product image, title, the price, shows it's Amazon Prime, the rating, and then buy now. So all you need to do, again, is copy this HTML here and paste it into your website. So you can use the ad inserter plugin to add some of these different native shopping ads throughout your website, or you can just enter them in specific blog posts if you're writing about the best diapers or the best wipes or whatever it is. So the other thing you can do is under get link when you're on an individual product page is you can link and get text and image, which looks like this, or you can just do the image here. And all of these are automatically going to include your affiliate ID. So you just want to make sure you understand how to use product linking and how to use some of these native shopping ads around your website so that you can monetize the pages on your website. When someone comes to my website, Beachfront Decor, I want to make sure there are different advertisements like this one, different affiliate advertisements like this one here. And then the other thing is every single one of my products will lead people directly to Amazon. So you also want to make sure you're you're doing that as well because the more ways you can drive people to Amazon, the better you're gonna ultimately do when it comes to your Amazon Associates earnings. So that's gonna be number one, is just understanding product linking and ads, how to use the right affiliate links to make sure you're getting credit for every single sale you drive to Amazon. Now number two is gonna be product reviews, and product reviews isn't gonna work for every single niche, but for a niche where you can write product reviews, for all of the relevant products that people are interested, it's gonna help you drive more people to your website. So when I went through my Amazon affiliate marketing course, one of the things I did, so this was the website I built, pargolfzone.com. One of the things that I went over is how you can write reviews and then how you can write buying guides based on the reviews that you've written. So coming back over here, the other thing is product review guides. So these things go hand in hand. And basically what I wanna show you is, if I were to write, let's say, a Titleist Pro V1 golf ball review. So I'm reviewing a specific golf ball. What you want to do is write a really detailed review, pros and cons, go over all the details, all the different descriptions and specs you can go over for any product that you're reviewing. Give it a score. You can use scores from around the internet basically if you don't have these actual individual products to review, which a lot of people writing product reviews aren't using every individual product to discover the best one. They're basically just putting together lists like this one using content so that they can drive more affiliate sales. So this title is Pro V1 Golf Ball Review. What, I, what you would want to do is write really long detailed reviews, link to these products throughout your review so that you can drive people to Amazon. And then what you want to do is basically do a roundup. So golf balls buying guide, best options for 2021. So I have the first one here, the title is Pro V1. And then the other thing you can do is find all of the top selling products or the top rated products based on whatever you're writing about and then create these lists. So I would wanna just keep doing the same format for every single golf ball as I write each review. So ultimately what I'd wanna do is write 15 total product reviews here for each of these individual golf balls that look just like this one here. I would link to each one as I go, as I go. so title is Pro V1 Golf Ball Review, and then give people the option to buy now throughout this article. So this page will end up ranking really well in Google as long as I keep it updated year after year, and as long as I have really good detailed product reviews for all these other products as well. 
Now, one website that does this really well already is dogfoodadvisor.com. So if you go to dogfoodadvisor.com, we just click on reviews A to Z here, you can see all the different products that they've reviewed. So dry food, wet food, canned food, all these different dog food products. And you can see as we scroll down the list, they've written so many product reviews. And then what they've also done is created roundup lists. So when you come over here to best dog foods, we can scroll down, you can see they have best puppy foods, best dry puppy foods, best large breed puppy foods, keep coming down, they have best dog foods for allergies, for weight loss, organic. Then they also have dog foods for specific breeds and they're already updated to November 2021, which is the current month. So this is a very successful website and basically their entire content plan is writing product reviews and then writing product review guides. So two and three basically go hand in hand. As you write more and more product reviews, you also wanna create lists of basically the best products within a specific category. So that's gonna be two and three. Now number four is gonna be product lists and gift guides. So kind of similar again to the reviews, but basically just kind of rounding up different lists of products based on certain categories again. So one of the things that we did for Beachfront Decor is created this Amazon Beach gift guide. So basically pulled on, pulled in some different products from Amazon, put together these different pictures and link to each product individually. And then what we can do is use this graphic for Facebook. We can use it on Instagram. We can use it on Twitter. We can use it on our website and basically link out to each product and write short descriptions for each product. So creating these gift guides for whether it's just things to bring to the beach, things for people who live near the beach, or if it's something like a holiday tablescape, for example. So placemats, some different serving platters, just different things you're gonna need for a holiday tablescape. Creating these lists makes it very easy for people to say, go to your website and say, okay, maybe they just want the placemats or maybe they wanna purchase some of the different serving platters and they can pick and choose some of the different products that you've put together on a list. Now a good example of someone who does this surprisingly well is the New York Post. So they usually just write a lot of different news and post different news articles. Um, but one of the things that they do is create these gift guides. So you can see the 22 best gifts for the music lover in your life. So if you click through to the article, you're gonna come to this page right here, and you can see as we scroll to the top, they have 22 best gifts for the music lover, 15 best winter coats for women, the best cocktail dresses in 2021, 18 best gifts any bookworm would love. So these are the types of lists that I'm talking about is basically just rounding up different products for sale. And then as we scroll down here, the very first one is Amazon Music Unlimited Descript or Unlimited Subscription. So if I were to click on this and I were to sign up for Amazon Music Unlimited, New York Post is going to get a commission. So basically what they're doing is putting together, and you can even see right here, New York Post may receive revenue from affiliated and advertising partnerships. Basically what you're doing is you're rounding up some of the best things, again, within a specific category, and then you're just presenting them to people and linking out to different affiliate products. Now the other type of list you can do is basically a content type list. So for Beachfront Decor, I've had a lot of success creating basically different bedroom ideas, bathroom ideas, different lists that have different design ideas. And then within these pages, I have Google ads, I have my Amazon Associates native advertisements here. As we scroll down, it's basically just a roundup of different designs. And then you can see, so right here is an actual placement for where an advertisement will usually show. For when I just refresh it, it's not showing right now, but you can incorporate different advertisements on these lists and these product lists and gift guides will actually rank really well over time. So that's why I've had a lot of success with this page right here. This page has ranked really well, especially for longer tail keywords where people are looking for some of these different beach themed bedroom design ideas and inspiration for their own bedroom. Okay, so that's gonna bring us to number five. And number five is basically a strategy as old as SEO is basically started and that's targeting keywords with your content. So what you wanna do is create really high quality content that solves the problem based on the keywords people are entering. So when I did my Amazon affiliate marketing course, I created this keyword list using the Google Keyword Planner. So I will link to the Keyword Planner in the video description. This is my favorite keyword research tool. It's completely free to use with a Google Ads account. And then as you run campaigns, you'll actually unlock more of the keyword search volume data. But if we come back over here, one of the things that I always do when I'm either starting a new website or starting a new search engine optimization project, even for PPC advertising, but just to stick on SEO, 
is use the keyword planner to find keywords. So what you're trying to do as a marketer is understand what people are actually searching for when they type in a keyword. So someone who searches golf balls into the Google search engine is probably looking for golf balls for sale. If I can put together a guide of what the best golf balls are, I'm gonna drive more people to my website because ultimately I've created a page that is solving the problem that people are going to Google to search for. It's the same thing as we come down here, so golf bags, so I would wanna do the same exact format that I did with golf balls, review a bunch of different golf bags, and then create a roundup list of the best golf bags for 2021, and then keep that article updated into 2022. So if you see this column over here, this is looking at average monthly searches. So you can tell that a lot of these keywords get a ton of average monthly searches. And as you write more and more content for some of these different keywords, now keep in mind, you don't have to write an article about every single keyword here. Some of them are just not gonna be relevant for you. Some of them have are not really gonna be valuable for you to spend time writing about. But for example, Callaway Golf Balls, as I write more and more product reviews, I might be able to say, hey, here's the seven best Callaway golf balls for 2021 and which golf balls to use based on what type of golfer you are. So if I can create some of those different articles, I'm gonna be solving the problems that people are actively searching for. And if we come over here to this website, so I'm just trying to use some different websites to give you some good examples, but this homegrounds.co is a coffee website. So if we come to their blog and we just scroll down through some of the different articles they've written, you can tell all of these are based on specific keywords. So coffee compass, how to use it for your brew. So this article is targeting the keyword coffee compass. 11 useful espresso machine mods, get more for your money. This article right here is targeting espresso machine mods. So some of these might just be a question, can you put coffee grounds down the sink or garbage disposal? There's probably people that go to Google every day asking that question. As we come down here, so coffee flavor wheel, coffee and water, how to dispose or recycle coffee makers, coffee trends, coffee certifications, espresso powder, these are all the keywords that they're targeting with their content. So ultimately what you're trying to do when it comes to targeting keywords with content is understand the types of people understand the types of things that people are looking for when they go to Google and creating resources for them. So one thing that can be helpful is we just went over how to make espresso powder is just going to Google, searching espresso powder, looking at the people also ask section, seeing what is actually ranking high beneath the ads. So you can see there's some ads at the top here. And as we come down, recipes. So what they might wanna do is incorporate recipe cards and basically write their own recipe for espresso powder. As we keep scrolling down, the people also ask section is one of the great ways to understand what people are actually looking for with a specific keyword. So what you can do is expand these and close them and it's gonna pull up more and more questions here. So you can answer those questions with your content and ultimately what you're trying to do is create the best guides for a specific keyword so that when someone goes to Google and searches that keyword, Google says, okay, this website here, whether it's homegrounds.co or any other coffee website, has the best resource for this keyword. And that's what you're trying to do over and over again with your keyword list is create the best resource. Obviously this takes a lot of time, but that time turns into traffic and that traffic turns into Amazon affiliate sales. So if you're writing product reviews, if you're creating product review guides, if you're creating lists of some of the best products, even if they're not relevant to your product reviews, they're separate lists or different lists that are gonna be helpful and gift guides, so when it comes to golf, I could do something like 101 golf themed Christmas gifts for 2021. And then what I would want to do is just keep that page updated for every single Christmas. I could say 100 of the best golf gifts for his birthday. I could do 101 of the best golf gifts for her birthday. Now it doesn't have to be 101. That's a really long list. But what you're trying to do is create different types of content that target keywords and basically solve problems that people are looking for. So somebody who is looking for a gift for their significant other, who they know is a golfer, they might find your product list, purchase something from you, and now you've driven a sale. Targeting keywords with content, you're ultimately trying to get more and more people to your website based on what keywords have a lot of search volume. So that's kind of one through five getting started. Now six, seven, eight, and nine, I'm not gonna spend as much time on, but just giving you some different ideas for different ways to keep driving more and more affiliate sales. Number six is video-based content. 
Now, if we come over here to YouTube, one of the most successful Amazon associates on YouTube is called Tech Deals. So they're not just Amazon associates, they also have other affiliate programs they work with, but basically what they do is they create different videos about new technology and things related to computers and gaming and all sorts of basically tech videos. And then since they're called tech deals, what they do is all the products they talk about throughout this video, so this is Intel 12th generation, i5 12,000, 12600K to i9 12900K. So basically as you come down here, what you can see is they have a link right here. This link is gonna go directly to Newegg, so with all the new CPUs, motherboards. So Newegg has an affiliate program, so this is probably an affiliate link right here. They also just link to crypto.com, just another affiliate program that they're working with. So just another way to drive more and more money because people who have a strong interest in tech probably also have more of an interest in crypto as well. As we come down here, you can see all the different processors they talk about have links here and have links here. So they have multiple links for every single product. I think these ones go to New Egg and these ones go directly to Amazon and they get commissions anytime someone goes through and purchases this. So if you're purchasing or if you're publishing videos, for example, they publish this the beginning of November, it's currently November 19th and they have over 40,000 views. So if you're publishing videos and get getting thousands, tens of thousands of views and this channel in general, you can see they have 477,000 subscribers, has driven millions and millions of views and I guarantee they probably make a ton of money off their affiliate sales because they're talking about the products in the video and then linking to them right in the video description. So I went to YouTube and I just searched best golf balls. So once you get past the suggested products, you can see some of these different videos here, 507,000 views, 25,000 views, 1.1 million views, 169,000 views. So one of the things that I could try to do as I kind of create these long lists of the best golf balls, the best golf bags, whatever they are, is basically incorporate a video and also show myself going to the driving range and hitting some of these different golf balls. And then I could link to each golf ball directly in those video descriptions to hopefully drive more sales. So incorporating video and using video based content isn't just limited to YouTube. You can also post your videos to basically every social media website. You can take longer videos and kind of cut them to create some shorter form videos and use them on different channels. So if you're able to basically write some of these different product review guides, create some of these product lists, you can also incorporate video based content and drive more sales that way as well. So don't just limit yourself to some of these different types of long form content. You can also create videos and link out to your products basically right in the YouTube description. Now next is gonna be number seven, and number seven is gonna to be to utilize the WZone WordPress plugin. So my Amazon affiliate course is really based around using WZone to add products directly to your Amazon affiliate marketing website. So with the WZone plugin, what you can actually do is import products directly to your website. So right here I have this product imported. If someone clicks on learn more here, they're gonna be taken directly to Amazon and you can see my link tag at the very top. And if someone comes in here and purchases something from me, I will earn a commission. So the WZone plugin is about a $50 one-time fee and you can import Amazon products directly to your website and you can basically create a shop of your products. So if we come over here to Par Golf Zone and I click on shop, it's gonna look exactly like an e-commerce store, but the only difference is that it is all Amazon affiliate products. So if someone comes to my shop, they say, okay, I'm looking for golf balls. They click on the golf balls category. It's gonna bring up some of the different subcategories I have here. And then I have a list of all these different golf balls for sale. I have no inventory here. I'm just trying to drive people to Amazon and once they get to Amazon, my hope is that they buy something, Amazon handles the rest, and that's all done using the WZone plugin and WooCommerce. WooCommerce is completely free. The WZone plugin is about $50. So I would highly recommend utilizing WZone if you can kind of create a relevant shop on your website based on the content you're writing about. Now number eight, social media and email, you just wanna make sure you're consistently building an audience on the side along with the traffic you're trying to drive organically through Google and other search engines. So you wanna make sure that you're always building your social media. So for Beachfront Decor, we have really focused on Instagram where we have over 18,000 followers 
and Pinterest where we have over 25,000 followers. These are the two best channels for us and they're the channels that drive really the most sales, the most traffic, and really the most overall interest in our brand. So it definitely helps using these different social media websites to not only post some of our different things that we've created and post different designs and things like that, but it also helps just basically raise brand awareness. So you wanna incorporate some of these different social media channels and make sure you're utilizing email marketing if it can be useful for you, because all of these, as you build an audience, it's only gonna help you drive more and more sales. What you wanna do is basically use the social media channels where you think that people who are interested in your products are gonna be the most likely to use. So for Beachfront Decor, we have focused heavily on Instagram and Pinterest. If it were to come to Par Golf Zone, I would probably use a little bit more of Twitter, I would definitely use some Facebook, probably Instagram as well, and then making sure I have an email list, and just consistently trying to drive more and more followers, more and more subscribers, because then when you do write a new golf ball review, or you do write a new golf ball buying guide, or just some new relevant content, you can share it and send it out to people who already have an interest in your brand. Now the last thing I'm gonna go through is consistency is key. If you're gonna be successful with Amazon affiliate marketing, you need to basically be consistent with the content you're creating, with the content you're publishing to social media. Basically everything you're doing, you wanna find a level of consistency to where you're always growing. So I like using this example of dogfoodadvisor.com because you can just tell they, they basically just have a list of, okay, here are all the dog foods. What we're gonna do is review each individual one, one by one, and write different reviews about every single possible dog food. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna round up those reviews into the best dog foods list. So it's basically just a consistent content creation strategy. They probably have a list of, okay, here are all the different dog foods that are being sold right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna write a review for each individual food, and then we're gonna round them up. So just being consistent in the things that you're doing is really important for growth and really important if you wanna drive Amazon affiliate marketing sales especially because if you're not consistent with the content that you're creating, with the things you're publishing out to social media, you're probably not gonna see the traction that you really want. And I can tell you that the more consistent I am, whether it's Beachfront Decor, whether it's Surfside PPC, the more consistent I am, the more successful I ultimately am. So. If you have any questions about Amazon affiliate marketing or how to kind of grow your earnings with Amazon Associates, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.